Hey guys, welcome back to Tracy's Place. I am so glad to be back with you all for another video. This is another video in the September Reset series. Y'all, I'm excited to bring you all my DIY planner binder or binder planner, whichever way you want to say it. It is a planner, but it's in a binder. And you make it yourself, you decorate it yourself, you put all of, all of you on it and in it. I love these things. The first one I did was my home management binder. Um, it was years ago. It had to be eight, nine years ago. I think it was one of the first. It was the first video on this channel, if I'm not mistaken. But I absolutely love binder planners. It was a home management binder. And since then, I have made like five, six binders. One for recipes, one for um, YouTube. Uh, let's see what else. A, a business binder. And then my daily planner. So, absolutely love it. It is in pinks and mauves, dusty rose, gold, cream, white, and just beautiful. And naturals. This little twine brings in the natural. I just thought it was so, so cute. And got this little pretty girl here. Her hair up in the bun. I love that. Absolutely love that. Got that from Etsy. So, there's so many things that you can do to organize and you know make your binder your own and come along with me on this september reset if september is anything for you like it is for me september is it's almost like the beginning of the new year for me because kids go back to school or rather isaiah is going back to school Jalen has moved out to her own place but um you know hubby's busy i'm busy and it's about to get cold fall is right around the corner um, I got a new schedule now, got a new, new YouTube schedule coming and just a lot of things. A lot of things are still happening, so I got to stay on track. So anyway, if y'all want to learn how to make this DIY planner binder, stay tuned and I'll show you how. So let's get started. I went out and I got this binder from Office Depot and I got the heavy duty one, which I just absolutely love. This one is more sturdier than the regular. And it's easy to open with this D-ring. And then it has the double pocket. And I love this more because if you have something tall, then it won't get messed up, you know, up here. You can stick it in this tall pocket. It won't get messed up. won't start folding over and you know, all that stuff. So I really love that. And I want to show you the paper that I got. I got this from Hobby Lobby. It's basically almost like construction paper. This is the paper that I chose. I chose like a mauve dusty rose color, one for the front and one for the back of your binder. And I even like to stick something down the side here. So I got the mauve dusty rose color. And if I'm not mistaken, Hobby Lobby was having a 50% off sale at the time. I know I got some stickers for 50% off. I'm not sure about this paper, but it's good if you can catch this on sale too. But I got this pearlesque color. It's textured. It is so pretty. I love that. And I got this glitter paper in the mauve dusty rose color. And then, of course, you all know the room has gold and ivory in it as well as natural colors. So I thought this was blending well. And I did. I got another one. So this can even be used for the inside, like the um, the dividers. If you want to decorate your dividers, you can do that. So that's that. And I got these stickers. And this is a nice little thank you note from one of the shops. But I bought these off of Etsy. Not this one. But these. And this one, this little pack here, I got from the Urban Vibe Chic Shop on Etsy. And then this one I got from So So Deaf, and you can get that at www.se slash shop slash So So Deaf. And those are so, so pretty. Love those. And I got another pack of stickers, and this is bigger. $10.99, it was half off, so basically $5.49, $5.50. So love that. And this is from Paper Studio. They always have good sales, usually at Hobby Lobby for the Paper Studio. Make sure that you measure your binder before you cut your paper, of course. And this is, and you want to measure your own because yours may be different from mine. You can also get these at Walmart, Target, and things like that. You know, your binder. I got white because, you know, I just wanted a plain surface. You can get any color. 
um, let's see, this measures 11 and 1 fourth because I don't want it edge to edge because it won't fit down in here, it gets tight towards the edge because this is a big pocket right here. So you just make it a little smaller, you measure to see how you want it. And then down here, it's 10 and 1 fourth is where I want to cut. So 10 and 1 fourth by 11 and 1 fourth. So those are gonna be my dimensions. All right, so let's go on downstairs. So I'm downstairs at the computer and I'm just gonna stay on the same document and I'm just gonna make a new page because I love this color. I don't wanna have to go and reset everything. So I'm gonna just add another page to this document and it'll be for my binder. And let's see, I think I'm gonna call it Days of My Life. Okay, oh, that color is so pretty. And I'm going to make it a different size. I have it at 100, but 100 font size is too big. So let's see. Let's see what 72. And I'm going to pick another font for this. And I am going to choose. Let's see. I don't want that. I think I like that. Let's see. Mono script. I don't want that. Script bold. Um, I'm going to do the Edwardian script. So I'm going to choose that for days of my life, I think. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to choose Baskerville Old Face. I like that script. And I'm just going to put Tracy's Plans. And yeah, I think that the front will be pretty with just this and then the decor from the different pages that I have, all the different colors and textures. So I like that for now. I think I'm gonna put Daily Planner on the edge. And hmm, if I choose to put anything else on there, I'll just come down and you know make some more phrases or whatever. But I think this is it for now. This is it for now. And here it is, it came out really nice. Okay, so I'm back at my desk and here's the paper that I printed out with the phrases that I want. I even found some other things downstairs. Sometimes just look in your stash and see what you already have. But I found some stickers when I was doing another project downstairs. And this is also from the paper studio from Hobby Lobby, got years ago. And it says, believe, that's like inspirational phrases. Blessings brighten when we count them. This one says, always remember you are unique and enjoy life and just different things like that. So I do want to put things like that in my planner. So I'm going to set these aside. I've already cut one of the covers and this is going to go in here. Cut it to the size that I specified before. 10 and 1 4 inches and 11 and 1 4 inches. So I already have that cut out. I'm going to cut another one out for the back because I want to decorate my back. This will be a different size because it has these two little um, nails or what have you in there. So you want to measure that and make it shorter on this side. And then I'm also going to have this edge done and because i've already cut this this is the part that was cut so i will be able to just narrow this down a little bit more and stick this down on this edge and i'm going to do that i'm going to cut the other one and then i will show you guys what it looks like i came up with a couple of designs and a couple of arrangements in my head so i started cutting So I made a square, or a rectangle rather. Both of these are rectangles, but I am going to cut this into an oval against this rectangle of gold and white. Now I'm gonna add a little razzle dazzle with this glitter paper. 
I don't know what I'm going to do on it yet. Probably put some little swishes and swirls. I'm not sure, so we'll see. So basically, you just want to play around with the paper shapes and, you know, decide if you want ovals, rectangles, squares. Um, you know, just come up with your own little design and then we're going to paste it all together and I'll show you what I come up with. Okay, I wanted to turn you around a little bit. So, so far, this is what I have. And I just cut out a rectangle, again, a smaller one down here at the bottom in the like opaque white or off-white cream color. And I took a little bit of the checkered paper and just cut a little bit there, just the accent right here. And so I have it placed where I want to have everything, just about. Uh, I found my twine that I used in the room and other places, and I wanted to put like a bow here because it just needs something else. So I want to put a twine bow, and I will probably put a sticker um, or one of the female stickers on here on the front. And so I wanted to show you this. This will go on the side of the binder right here. That's going to go there. And then as you see, I have wording there and on top of the mauve paper, I have the gold and white checkered paper. And this will be the back of the binder. So, oh, and also I punched some little um, holes from the glittered paper and those will go as accents on the binder on the front and back, probably on the side too. So we have that glitter. I didn't want a whole bunch of glitter, you know, bling on it but just a little bit to add an accent so that's where i am now and right now i'm going to make the twine bow to put on and i've already cut a little piece of twine so that when i make the bow at the end i'll just tie this around it so that it will be secured here in the center okay but before I place the twine down before I secure it on of course I have to secure everything else on so I'm going to do that with this glue just going to use this Elmer's school glue and it's supposed to be decently strong for paper I don't feel like dealing with the um the glue gun so I'm just going to do this and since it will be secure up under plastic then it won't be moved so it'll be okay Okay, so I do need to use a glue gun. I just should have got it out anyway for this because this twine is not going to stick to this paper good. Let me top this up so it won't go dry. This is not going to stick. Not good anyway. So I'm going to glue this down with the glue gun. This is a new glue gun for me. So it has this little stand here. That is good to know. I really like that. And I'm going to use one of the stickers from my little sticker collection here that I purchased off Etsy. I don't know. Well, I know I can't use it inside or I don't want to use it inside. It would take up a lot of the calendar page. I think I'm going to put it here somewhere. So I'll see which side I want to put it on. So I want something fairly simple down here. Didn't want any big words like up there or anything. And since this has some black in the picture, I wanted some black here. 
And I was looking at all the little sayings and stuff. And being that this is a daily planner, I think I want to put enjoy life. Because sometimes just the day-to-day -day stuff that we do, we don't enjoy it. It's just kind of mundane and we just trying to rush through it. I almost want to put go for it, but I think I'm, I'm going to do enjoy life. That's what I'm going to do. A reminder when I open this binder is no matter how big or how small, all the tasks that need to be done, the places we need to go, things we have to do. I want to be reminded to enjoy life. All of it. So I'm on the last page and right here I am going to put watch out world. I wanted some of the natural color kind of up here to break up the pink colors and the gold so okay I'm just going to simply put believe because in all these things that I have to do where there's things I want to do you know goals and things like that things that are whether it's things that I have to do I want to believe that I can God gives me the strength to do it I want to believe that I can so I'm going to put believe right here and there we go. Really, really nice. And here are all three. And they kind of curl up when you put glue on them. So don't pay any attention to that. It's going to flatten out when it gets in the uh, protective cover of the binder. But they look so nice. So all three of them look very nice. They came out really good. I'm going to go ahead and put them in the binder protector now. And that's the plastic covering of the binder. Uh-oh, I made a mistake. I did not allow for this over here. So I'm gonna to have to go back and I'm gonna to have to trim this. I'm gonna to have to take some off of this side and some off of this side so that it will remain centered. Okay, I'll be back. All right, got it. Trimmed it down on both sides and it's even. And so I'm gonna do the side panel and the front. It came out so pretty. Now, you will have maybe just a little bit of issue getting this down in here, especially if you make it too wide. I had to kind of push. I used an, an emery board to help me push it in. It started going in good till it got to like halfway. And then I had to use this. You could use a butter knife or maybe, and this is something with a little bit of, of abrasiveness on it. So use this side down towards your your actual paper use the wider side so all this that comes off of these emery boards won't get on to your image and i just had to kind of stick it down in there and just push it kind of stuck it down to here and just help pushed it on down there but it went in it came out so nice that is just beautiful i love it love it love it love it So this is my old planner, which I absolutely love it, of course, too. It's pretty black and white. I usually design my own, but I forget what the reason was. I didn't make my own daily planner on the outside. Um, I think I was just kind of in a rush one year and just was, you know, busy and ready to put it in something. So I got something that was already decorated. And I could have put something on the front, but I didn't. But now, since I have the new office space, I wanted to have something that coordinates with the room. It's the same size. So all of this that's on the inside of here can now just be transferred into here. So I've transferred everything in and I have something that's private here. So I have it turned over. I always keep like a schedule of your bill payments, all your bills and different things like that. Even in your personal planner, like I have things like that in my home management binder, but I also want to keep it in my planner that I look at every day. So I'm reminded of it. And then these are stickers. I'll probably be keeping some stickers in here. And this, of course, my reminder 
that I am the keeper of the home. I know there's many feminists and different things that might be watching, some traditional or what have you, but I'm more on the traditional side. So I'm always wanting to be reminded of what my goals are that the Lord has given me to do and things that I want to do. And I know from the word that I am the keeper of the home. And it says keeping priorities straight. Why do I do what I do? And it says God being mindful to be pleasing to God in all I do, Romans 12, 1 through 3. And for my husband, I aspire to be an exceptional wife, helper, companion, friend, and giver of filial and eros love, Genesis 2, 18, 21 through 25. And for my children, to love, encourage, and train my children with godly rearage, Proverbs 22, 6 through 7. For my home, to provide a loving, harmonious, clean oasis for our family, that is pleasing to the Lord and happy and comforting for us. Titus 2 and 5. Personal growth. My goal is to be an organized and timely person, to remain unique and self-assured, yet humble and obedient to Christ, to work wisely in the ways of my household and business while seeking to help others. Proverbs 31, 10 through 31. And of course, y'all know we are not perfect in everything, but this is just a reminder to what I keep striving to be every day. Sometimes I get off course, I get off track, <laughs> and I need that reminder what my purpose is, what my goals are, what's you know what I aspire to be, what God wants me to be. So I like to keep that at the forefront. And then of course, these this is from January all the way up until now. And this is September. So I have finished it and I didn't put most of the things on here yet. Uh, some of them are private, so I'll put them on afterward. But there's just some like bill payments on Sunday, September 11th. They're honoring my mother at my home church at my mother's church. So I'm going there and my sister and brother-in-law still go there. So I'm going to go there uh, with other family and friends and, you know, those church members and celebrate her, honor her. She was a hat maker and she had a boutique and she was known around the city as the hat lady because she sold fancy hats and fancy suits and dresses, purses, handkerchiefs, all that stuff. So it's hat day at my mom's church. And all the women are coming in their pretty hats. And some of them are made by my mom. So, yes. Anyway, also, uh, my mother-in-law's birthday is on the 3rd. Uh, my sister-in-law has a birthday somewhere in here. And then uh, my mother-in-law's birthday dinner is there. Uh, I have this red phone here. And that means I have some telephone calls and stuff to make. So, I have a list of calls to make on the 15th and the 16th. So that's why I put that there. Uh, these are editing days and the other days are editing days too. Um, paydays, um, I'll be closed on this day. We travel on this day. And on Sundays, I do my planning. Uh, we'll be going out to eat this day. So yeah. And I love this, you guys. Absolutely love this. And uh, I got this image from Etsy and so cute just really really cute the bun and everything reminds me of myself too just like the one on the cover <laughs> so i put that there and right here it says go for it so just everything every day give 100 percent. so i have that so this is my actual planner page my basically to-do list but over here i have my daily schedule so hour by hour, I have what I need to be doing each hour because it's just that jam packed to, to stay on schedule. <laughs> I need to write down what I'm supposed to be doing each hour, each half hour. Actually, I got seven, seven thirty eight. And of course, I get up earlier than that, sometimes later. But most days I need to get up earlier than seven. But I need to start listing things out at seven a.m. And all the way down to six y'all sometimes later but we gonna try to stop that all right going back to the planner day i have tasks for today that i need to get done and then like things for myself that's under tracy of course like if i need to wash my hair if i need to uh deep condition or moisturize or twist my hair that goes here i do my nails that goes there um 
ironing my clothes, like picking out my clothes for the week or ironing my clothes for the week. That goes there. Just personal things for me goes there. If I need to try to make a doctor's appointment, that goes there. So right here, I have time for God, prayer, scripture reading. If I'm doing a series study or what have you, devotional, it goes here. So I can try to stay on track with that. Things I have to do for the kids. And I just got one left at home, y'all. <laughs> but still be doing stuff with Jalen. So that'll still go there. Um, me and her FaceTime basically every day. So I talk talk to her or FaceTime with her every day. Um, but sometimes I, you know, I still do stuff with her for her. So that goes there. And Isaiah, of course, is he's my main one here. So all his stuff goes here. And um, my household chores, like if I need to mop, if I need to dust um, this room and that room or vacuum or clean it, whatever it is, that goes there. And then my fitness schedule, y'all, I got to talk. Mm, mm, mm. Jesus, <laughs> I need to work on that. My little fitness, but it is here to remind me that I need to exercise. And that's something I aspire to do starting now since we're not as busy anymore. I need to get back into exercising. My errands will go here, whether I need to stop by the P.O. box, um, I need to go to the grocery store, uh, any appointments, all that goes here. The vitamins that I take will go here. Even the water, reminding myself to drink water. I mark it off every uh, eight ounces or so. Just mark it off. What my goal is. A lot of times it's just keep moving. Um, work quickly. Whatever I want, you know, my, my day, my atmosphere to be, what I need to get done. The atmosphere I need to be in. The aura, the pace I need to go. Whatever it is, it goes here. And then I put my meals here where we have it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner goes there. And then up here, I have the date and whether it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because this planner is this, this sheet is meant to go for whatever day, whatever year, whatever. So I could just make copies of this and just keep using it. So I just have space for a date right there. And then I can circle whatever day it is. So I can use this infinitely if I wanted to. And like I said, this is my daily schedule where I'm supposed to be or what I'm supposed to be doing hour by hour helps keep me on track and whatever notes that I need to jot down, any notes from a phone call, any anything will go here and then we'll start the next day here. Now, this day can last, this page rather can last for one to three days. Sometimes it's jam packed. And I, you know, that's for one day. And sometimes it's not jam packed. And this list will last for like three days. And I just mark stuff off as I go. And then I'll put the next date here and start all over again. So I love these little um, images that I got off of clip art. I've had this page, I've been using this for about eight years now, I think it has been, if not longer. Because my home first home management binder, that was one of the first videos on this channel was my home management binder. I think it was the very first. And I have been using this page forever. And a lot of the pages that I have been using them so, so, so long. And I don't want to show up, but I have a lot of things here. Things that I want, things we need, you know, big like a big shopping list. Not groceries, but bigger things. Uh, let's see. And then I have a master's cleaning list I have to fill out. Like what to do, what part of the year, whether spring cleaning or fall cleaning or doing the baseboards in this season or that, you know, stuff like that. And I have not filled all these pages out because I'm just putting this in here. Um, these are pages that I've gotten out of my home management binder and I wanted some of the pages in my personal planner so that I can keep track of those. Cause I look at my daily planner all the time, but the home management binder, I don't look at every day. So some of the pages I just wanted to put in here, like right here, I'll have special occasions and I have some written down. I don't want to show necessarily, but people's birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, graduations, um, just a lot of things. Our eye doctor. So I decided to put that in here since I look at it 
all the time. Um, things to do. Just pages. Also, you guys, I wanted to let you all know about the pen holder. I'm going to be making a DIY pen holder. And it just attaches right on the edge of one of these dividers here. So I'm going to show you how to make that because you don't want to be running all over the house trying to find a pen. You want it to be right there with you. So what you want to do is measure how long you want it. And I already did that, how far I want it to come out. So it has to loop over the divider. So I wanted to make it six and a half inches long and you just determine how far over you want to put it on the divider. That's what determines. So I'll do six and a half inches. So let me cut that. So I kind of changed my mind halfway through. I did it six inches long and then one inch wide. So what you want to do is just fold it over. And you can do it thinner than this if you want to, but I want mine on the thick side. And I'm using this glitter paper because this is the thickest of the construction paper that I was using or the scrapbooking paper or what have you. So I wanted to use this thick one. You don't want to use paper thin or, you know, super thin because it's going to mess up. You're going to be using this over and over and over and it'll mess up. So you want to use something thick. All right, so I have the planner out. What we're going to do here is kind of see where you want it to, how big you want your loop to be. And because I want it to fit smaller pins and, and bigger pins. So that one's kind of thick, but it has, usually pins have this little attachment here where you can just put it down and they won't fall through. So this is where I'm going to measure to and put my glue. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to put glue, not all the way down here, but I'm going to put glue just right here. I'm going to open it up a little bit and put glue right down in there. And then right there. And then you want to press it together. And there's those little glue strings. But anyway, you keep it secure or you can staple it. You could staple it and then hide the staple with a sticker, a little cute sticker. So now I have an opening down here and that's where I'm going to slide it. I'm going to slide it right there and I'm going to hot glue gun it on this side and then the other side. Okay, now I've hot glue gunned it on the front side. Now I'm going to do the underside. And there we go. You just want to press it so that it can set. And it doesn't take hot glue long to set, not at all. And there you have it. And that's what it looks like from the top side. I'll close it. And this is what it looks like. It has the little pin holder on the side. And you insert it like that. And it won't fall out because the pin cap stops it. So there you are. So excited about that. I also wanted to show you guys real quick. If you all notice, these are really pretty mauve colors. So I have some new colored pencils. I know, I know. <laughs> Creating these, um, these management binders and the planner binders. It is so fun to create your own page with different colors that you love. And I have a pack of 50. I used to have the little plain pack of 12. Now I got <laughs> I an upgraded to a pack of 50. But I got these from Target and they are really pigmented and they are really, really nice. And I went ahead and did October 2. Not finished with October, but there it is so far. So anyway, that is my planner, my everyday planner. And I love it.
absolutely love my planner. And uh, you can make one too. It's very easy to make. So if you make one, y'all, if y'all make one, let me know. Let me know. I would love to see it. Y'all can email me pictures uh, or what have you. I would love to see y'all. So let me know if you make one. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me down below or, or email me. My email is down below in the drop down description box, along with links to anything from this video. And yeah, so I hope you all like the video. Comment below. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know what planner system you all use, whether it helps you a lot or if you're looking for another one. And if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to Tracy's Place. Take a look around the channel. There's a lot of different kind of videos that I've had that I have here. Something for everybody. So take a look around and subscribe. Would love to have you as part of the Tracy's Place family. And I love you all. Y'all be blessed and have a wonderful week. Bye.